Hey, what's up? Tyson France with Motion Revolver here. I just wanted to quickly cover a question that I receive a lot of times from customers, um, and it pertains to the newly created uh, motion graphics template, um, otherwise known as Mogert files, uh, which are compatible with Adobe Premiere. Now, these sorts of files have certain limitations that um, I'm hoping Adobe will address in the somewhat near future. And some of those limitations are you can't really um, update placeholder images such as logos or images or videos. Um, and you also cannot change the font for any embedded text. So I have one of our Motion Revolver, um, I believe this is called a local news uh, double line lower third graphic that we're working with here. It's available on videohive.net if you're interested in working with the files. Um, but as you'll see, there's a number of customization features that we've built in here, such as being able to customize colors and opacities, and you can even type in your own text uh, to create your own custom lower third graphic. The problem is, is that within Premiere, you can't update the font, you can't change the font. So as the end user, you're sort of locked into using only the font that is embedded within the Mogert file. Now there is a way to fix this if you have Adobe After Effects installed on your computer. Um, but the only way to fix this, unless Adobe comes up with um, an update in the future that allows these updates to, or that allows you to change the font within Premiere, unless uh, um, Adobe fixes this, right now this is the only way you can change the font. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to navigate over to uh, After Effects Creative Cloud 2018, and it's important that you have the latest version of After Effects installed as well, because being able to open a Mogert file within After Effects is actually another recent development that Adobe just allowed uh, a couple months ago. Um, this version that I'm working with is currently 15.1.2, so uh, just make sure that you have the latest version possible installed uh, to avoid any possible issues. Now, you also cannot double click a Mogert file to open it in After Effects, and you cannot click and drag the file to the dock and open the Mogert file within uh, the icon within the dock. You actually have to go into After Effects Go to File, Open Project, and I have the file here on my desktop. So I'm just gonna open the Mogert file. And that's gonna ask me where I want to extract the contents of this Mogert. So I'm actually just gonna extract the contents right back to the desktop. Um, this is gonna create a new folder that will hold the After Effects project file and any other supporting media that is required for this to function. Now. When you open up a Mogert file, you really never know what you're gonna get because it all depends on how the author set the file up. Um, in this case, uh, we actually broke this down from an existing After Effects project. So we took an existing After Effects project that was already designed for After Effects and converted it into a Premiere compatible file. Now to update the text, again, it will all depend on the Mogert file, they're all going to be different depending on how the author created it, but you have to drill down into the compositions to find the editable text layers. In this case, the editable text layers for this project are right within the main uh, the, the main composition. So once we've opened up the main comp, we can see there's a number of customizable text layers here. So we can actually select all of these editable text layers by holding down shift or command to select more than one within the timeline. And then we can go up here to our character panel and uh, the font is currently Bavis New. So what I'm gonna do is change this to Montserrat and we can change these really to anything. If, if we want this to be bold, if we want this one to be bold, we could do that as well. So as you can see, you could you could basically change the, the font weight to anything you want. You can change the font size to anything you want. And in a lot of cases, when you do change the font, you're gonna have to actually make additional updates to probably the size and the kerning so that it fits within the graphic. And as you can see in this case, 
this title is is overlapping uh, the graphic underneath it. So we're gonna have to scale this text down, probably get rid of the kerning as well, set that to zero, maybe even to negative 25 uh, to get it to fit. And then maybe we'll bump this up to 26 and center that on the graphic. Um, same thing with the lower third. Uh, we can change the size of this if we want, maybe bump it up to 52. Uh, this line here is a little bit low, so we'll move it up and maybe drop the size of that to 36 and reduce the kerning to negative 25. Um, so as you can see, without going too far into this specific graphic, when you do update the font or change the font to whatever you want, um, there may be some additional customization that needs to be done to get it to work within the graphic. Um, you could even change the color as well, uh, but of course, if the author set up color customization uh, for the text in the Mogart file, you won't necessarily need to do that within the After Effects project. But okay, so now we have the text updated within the composition. We want to go back to whatever comp was used to create the Mogart file. And we can find that just by going to our essential graphics panel and looking at the master composition for this Mogart. The master composition for this Mogart is the customization panel composition. So we want to make sure that we have that composition open, which we do. This is the customization panel and it's named local news broadcast two line lower third. So, uh, we may want to reset the poster time, which gives us a new preview with the new font. And then all we have to do is click on this button here, export motion graphics template. We need to save the file, that's fine. It's gonna ask us where we wanna save it on our computer. Um, I'm actually gonna save this as uh, V2. I'll put it on my desktop. And now we have a brand new Mogart file with an updated font. We'll go back into Premiere go to browse. I'm actually going to delete this old one from our timeline. We'll go back to browse, clear that. I'm going to click on this little uh, install motion graphics template icon down here since we're just installing one. Go to my desktop and as you can see we have our version 2 file here that we just created so I'm going to open that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to restart Premiere. I'm not going to save it. Open Premiere back up I create a new timeline by hitting Command N, Essential Graphics Panel. Sometimes this takes a second because there's a lot of previews. I'm gonna type in V2, see what comes up. Oh, there it is, okay. The file was actually imported the first time. It's just that it did not come in with the new V2 because I did not change. So this is actually another good thing to cover. So I was looking for V2, thinking that changing the file name of the Mogert would actually uh, import with that file name, but that's not the case. Um, the Mogert will retain whatever name you give it with an After Effects. So if I navigate back here to After Effects, what I should have done is actually added V2 to this title. So whenever you save out your new Mogert file with the new font, you might want to update the name of the file itself because that way you know the difference between the original and the one that you updated. So going back into Premiere, uh, we have this updated Mogart file. We'll let it preview quickly and we'll scroll out. And as you can see now, this Mogart contains all of the same editability and customization features that it had before but it contains the new font, the new Montserrat font that we changed from Babis New. So unfortunately, as of right now, until Adobe gives us the ability to edit fonts or change fonts within Premiere, this is the only way to update the font on a Mogart file. It's by importing it into After Effects, making our edits, and then exporting it back out as a Mogart. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, as usual, if you have any further questions, just leave a comment below or uh, get in touch with us on social media. You can also email me directly or visit our uh, profile page on videohive.net. Once again, I'm Tyson France with Motion Revolver and good luck with your project.